talk to you about how to make circle models uh, for chemical reactions so you can help balance them. They're not officially called circle models, but um, we're going to use circles, so that's what I'm calling them. So we're going to use uh, them to model the chemical reaction that my son was did um, using baking soda and vinegar in the second lesson. So the the um, the formula for baking soda is sodium bicarbonate, NaHCO3. And this, the formula for vinegar is acetic acid, which is HC2. H3O2 and this is called a double replacement reaction. A double replacement reaction is basically the, the cation and the anion, cation, anion, cation, anion, right? They switch partners with each other. So you and then the 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 H when it's partnered with the HCO3 becomes H2CO3. That's called carbonic acid, but then that breaks down into water. Carbonic acid is what you find in soda, right? Carbon dioxide and water in all those fizzy drinks that you that you drink. Um, and then sodium gets paired with acetic, uh, with the acetate ion to make sodium acetate. Again, that part you don't need to know. You just have to write this formula down. You don't need to know it right now anyway. Okay, so now we're going to draw models. Now you don't, you probably don't have colored pens and pencil necessarily, but you don't need to because I'm just going to draw circles with letters in them. So there's an Na and an H and a C and three O's connected. And the reason they're connected is because they're all in the same compound. And then there's H two C's, three H's. The H's wouldn't actually be in the center. We learned that in the uh, section on uh, Lewis structures, but I wouldn't worry about that right now. We're just drawing models to be able to represent what these compounds look like. And then water, one oxygen and two H's. And then carbon dioxide. CO2 and Na two carbons three hydrogens and two oxygens something like that okay So we want to see if the if the number of atoms is the same, right, on both sides of the chemical reaction, whether this meets the law of conservation. So we can count the carbons. We can see there's a carbon here and a carbon here, so uh, and a carbon here. So that would be three. There's for oxygens. There's one, two, three, four, five. For Na. There is one, and for H's, it's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's see if the other side is the same. We'll do carbons first. One, two, three. Oxygen's next. We'll do one, two, three four, five. Na's are next, which is that one, which is one. Then H is last. One, two, three, four, five. And you notice that it's the same. So the coefficients that would go in front of each chemical formula is a one. So that's a pretty easy one to balance, actually, because it's already balanced for you. So let's do another one, which is not balanced, and see if we can balance it together. Okay, 
So the formula that I'm going to pick is NaF, sodium fluoride, plus bromine gas, Br2, NaBr, plus F2, sodium bromide and fluorine gas. Okay, so we're going to use our, our circle models again. NaF, Br2, the Br's have to be connected because they're in one formula, one molecule. It's not a compound because it's two of the same atom. Here, this is a compound. We have to make sure they're connected. Br and F2. Okay, so we count the Na's. Na is one, F is one, Br is two. And over here, we have Na1, F2, and Br is 1. So we notice that we need more Brs on this product side. So I'm going to add one more NaBr. We can't add Brs because Brs are not in the formula. Notice it's only NaBr and F2. That's the only thing you can add. You can only have more of them, right? So we're going to just do one more NaBr. Na and Br. And now the Brs are 2 and the Na's are 2. So I messed up the Na's, right? So I'm going to go over here on the left side, on the reactant side. And I'm going to, change, I'm going to either add one more NaF or one more Br2. And hopefully it's obvious now that you're going to have one more Na. and one more F in one NaF compound. Notice that there's a space in between here because they're not all connected. So that'd be two Na's on the left side and two, and two F's on the reactant side. And now you notice all of them are equal, both sides. So we're done in the chemical reactions. Now we just have to write the, write the coefficients in, the numbers that go in the front that are multipliers like we talked about in the first lesson. Two goes there, right? Notice how there's one there and one there. You notice there's only one Br2. You notice there's two NaBrs and there's one F2. So the answer here is two, one, two, one for the coefficients. So now you can return to class and we will discuss how to do this in, uh, in further practice.